I left the door unlocked. Talking isn't part of it, huh? Is there ever an exception to the rule? Am I wasting my last breath? Look, I'm not begging you for mercy. All I ask is that you give me some of your time. You have so much more left than I do. You don't have to speak to me. All I ask is that you listen. It has been a while since I had the company. Do you have a name? Not for you, I don't. I just wanted some truth to accompany me to where I'm going. My name's Walter Boyle. Would you care for some wine? It's a 91 Merlot. Now I remember the day I bought this very bottle. Little did I know I'd be saving it for this long. It was meant to be opened a few hours after I bought it, but that was the day my life changed. No, I'm just like you. Maybe twice your age, but just the same. On the table over there is a briefcase. It's the only thing I have of any uh, value. I have no one. I don't have a will, so I'd like to bequeath it to you. Not interested. What number am I? Has your line of work ever been put to good use? Now is your chance for a way out. You do this for me, you'll be redeeming your gamut of past sins. When you kill me, I'll be lying here for months. No one will come looking. I'm giving you my life for one request for all victims of circumstances. Please. <coughs> Teach me how to have a conscience, old man. <sighs> Hello, I do not have the other half of the money that is owed to you. You're kidding me. It was you? If you're reading this missive, you know what you did. This is my final request. I didn't just pick your name out of a hat. I'd been following you for some time. You'll find enclosed my gun, pictures of my wife, Lynn, and my daughter, Sarah. 
and folders filled with as much information as I had gathered over the years about those responsible for the murder of my wife and child. It took some time to track everyone down, but here we are. Due to the unfortunate nature of my life, I was unable to complete my duty in my family's honor. So I want you to finish the job that I started 15 years ago. The gun in the case was used to kill four of those responsible. I want you to use that same gun to finish off the last name on the list. I got close. Your redemption has a price, and this is it. I'll be watching you from above, or maybe even below. We'll see what my maker has in store for me. Helping me is helping yourself, Walter Boyle. P.S. Has anybody reported me missing yet? I bet not. I'd like to report a murder. I'd like to arrange a funeral. Please, uh, take a seat and make yourself comfortable. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> you're just after some quotes then? Uh, no, I'm ready to organise it with you today. Right, uh, look, we've got a, um, a variety of uh, packages that we can offer you, Mr... Uh... Satch, here's a cheque for $10,000. Anything around that price would be fine. Uh, oh, sorry, just excuse me. Hello, John speaking. Look, I'm a little bit busy at the moment, just with a client. Look, 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 yes, I'll give you a call back in about half an hour, Ruth, thanks. Bye. Um, sorry about that. So is there anything specific? Anything that around that price will be fine. Right, uh, the, the deceased's name? Mr Boyle. And Boyle's with a, a, a Y? A Y. And uh, Christian name, obviously we need it for the... Uh... Right, okay. And I don't want a mass, I just want a burial ceremony at the cemetery. Of course. Uh, look, we'll sort this out and, and get back to ASAP, Mr Satch. I want you to use that same gun to finish off the last name on the list. I got close. Your redemption has a price, and this is it. In paradise, may the angels lead thee, and at thy coming may the martyrs receive thee, and bring thee into the holy city, Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels receive thee, and with Lazarus, once Paul, mayest thou have eternal rest. And may the soul of Walter, and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. for Walter's funeral. I could say that. And you are? Jean Fenton. Darius Satch. He was a friend of yours? No. Then why did you come? 
It's hard enough to come to the decision to actually show up. It was my natural father. He was your father? He and my mother were together for a short while back in the 70s. He left and she found out she was pregnant with me. Finally worked up the courage to actually meet him. Went to his house about a week ago. There's no answer. I guess now I know why. Walter never mentioned having another daughter. Another daughter? He has a family? He had a family. What happened? Something terrible. That's all I know. I never got a chance to actually meet my other family. I guess I really think to leave things too late, didn't I? Mother never told him about me. In fact, she never actually ever spoke to him after they split up. But I've known for a long time. I've always wondered what type of man my real father might have been ever since. The newspaper said he was a recluse. What did he do to deserve this? Who could have done such a thing? What can we do about it now?